If you have a video, any type of video, and you want it to play on your iPhone or iPod Touch and your iPad, you may have a bit of a problem. 1. The video may not be able to play on the device. Apple is very strict about the videos being in the correct file format. 2. The video may be huge as far as file size goes. Uh, you don't want that small video taking up all your disk space. If only there were a way to get that video to work perfectly on your iPhone, iPod Touch, or iPad. I got it! There's a program called WinX iPad Video Converter. And what it does, despite the name, is it takes your video and optimizes it for not only iPad, but iPhone and iPod Touch as well. Here's how it works. Step 1. You're going to need to get the program. Now, the program, unfortunately, isn't free. Uh, but well, duh, 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 don't stop the video just yet, because there's a giveaway. Yes, in the giveaway, I will be giving away the program to several people for free. However, that's not what this video is about. Uh, so if you want to know about the giveaway, then check out my other video. There will be an annotation and a link in the description so you can know how to get the uh, program for free. And <clears throat> if you uh, don't win the giveaway and get it for free, uh, you can use a discount code uh, for everyone. Everyone gets a discount code. Uh, so if you're, if you're not lucky enough to get it for free, you can use the discount code, which is exclusive to my channel, and that gives you a huge discount so you save lots of money. So if you really want the program, uh, watch this video so you know what the program does and is and how it works, and then go check out the, vi the gi giveaway video. Uh, yeah, so go. Well, not right now, but if, if, you know, after the video. So you could get it for free. Step two. Add the videos to the queue. Uh, and now the beautiful thing in this program is that it's good at multitasking. Uh, so if you have a lot of videos, that you want to get to your device for a long plane trip or hibernation or something else you may be doing. I don't ask questions. Uh, anyways, if you have a lot of videos, uh, just add them all and they can all get done fairly fast. You don't need to be sitting at your computer for 10 hours to convert all of them. You just add them all and let it go. Step three, select the device. Your choices are iPad, iPod, iPhone, Apple TV, Apple TV HD, and music. Now the last option, music, just leaves you with an audio file and no video. Step 4. You need to change your presets. Well, you don't need to, but you can if you want to. Uh, so this is especially important uh, if you select iPod because what will happen is you need to select, you know, which resolution uh, because there's so many different iPods out there. Uh, remember, this is an iPod Touch and with that in mind, if you have an iPod Touch, do not select iPod. Uh, this program is kind of old. Uh, you want to select iPhone because they're basically the same thing. They have the same screen and everything. It's just the iPod Touch doesn't have a phone, but that doesn't matter in this instance. So if you're exporting to an iPod Touch, select iPhone as your device. If it's an iPod, like an iPod Nano or, or iPod Video, one of those older ones, uh, then select iPod and then choose the right resolution under profile setting. And there's more. If you have an iPhone 4, an iPhone 4S, or an iPod Touch 4th generation, you can select iPhone, and then in the uh, profile setting, select iPhone 4. And what that'll do is that it'll optimize the video for the retina display, which is very nice that they uh, add that uh, capability to export even optimized for the retina display. Step 5. Push the start button. And then you wait. Step 6. So as you can see, Winx iPad Video Converter makes optimizing your videos uh, for your iOS device very simple. However, if you're looking for something that can do a bit more than this program, check out my previous video uh, in which I talked about the Winx, same company, uh, HD Video Converter Deluxe. And it does what this program does. It can optimize a video for iOS devices, but it can do a lot more too. It can convert a video file to another format and then save it back to your computer. And it also handles HD videos. 
Uh, and on top of that, it can optimize for iOS devices made by Apple, and it can also optimize for Sony devices like the PSP and PS3, uh, and for Microsoft devices like the Xbox. So uh, go ahead and check out my previous video if you did not see that. Uh, so the program can do a lot more. Uh, however, it does cost a bit more than the iPad video converter. So if all you need to do is optimize for an Apple device, then you'd be better off getting the iPad video converter uh, because it is a bit cheaper. Now I am going to be giving away several copies of both of the programs, both the iPad video converter, which I talked about in this video, and the uh, program I talked about in the previous video, which is the HD video converter deluxe. I'm giving away several copies of both programs, uh, so check out my giveaway video uh, by way of the annotation somewhere in this video, and there will also be a link in the description uh, so you can learn more about the giveaway and how to enter. It's very simple, I try to keep it as simple as possible. Uh, so that everyone has a fair chance of winning the giveaway. This video is part of the Ultimate Converting Challenge series on my channel, uh, which in which I t basically talk about uh, various ways of converting audio, video, and general file types to other file types, basically. Uh, so if you want your MPEG movie to be an AVI, what is the easiest way of doing that? Uh, I talk both about free software, and then I give you a paid solution uh, because I myself find paid uh, programs a lot better than free programs when it comes to converting. Uh, there's pretty much, for me, uh, no exception to that rule. Paid programs uh, just do it for me. And if there is an exception, I will tell you because I don't want you guys to pay money if I don't think you have to. So, uh, but again, if you are interested in making your life a little bit easier when it comes to converting, which is sometimes a hard task, that we are faced when we're trying to edit a video or send a file to someone and then the program gives us the dreaded error, the file is not in the correct type. Uh, so then we have to search for a converter. What is the easiest way of converting that file? That's exactly what this series is all about. So if you want to you know, know how to efficiently convert a file, make sure you subscribe so you're notified of my newest videos and then all the videos will be in a playlist uh, on my channel so that you can easily find all of them. Uh, also make sure you thumbs up the video if you liked it at any point. Uh, follow me on Twitter for uh, more tech news and stuff like that. Uh, my Twitter username is Mike Benarski, which is my name. And then you can also check out my blog, MikeBenarski.com, and all those links will be down in the description along with the giveaway video. Make sure you check out that giveaway video. And also, if you're interested in buying the software, like I said, check out the giveaway video because then you can get a discount on the software with an exclusive uh, coupon code. So I'll see you guys in the next video. Thanks for watching.